Well, underwire, hooks in the back, wrong size. Ladies, you know we can relate, and so can Virginia Lynn Peterson, which is why she decided to swoop in and take matters into her own hands. So my name is Virginia Lynn Peterson, and I'm the founder of Swoop Bras and Bitters. I have to ask, what does Swoop stand for? How did you come up with that name? So Swoop, it kind of started as always be swooping because we kind of think you should just always be swooping. <laughs> and so then we shortened it just to kind of make it a little bit more simple. So now we've been running with Swoop. An idea that started almost two years ago and also while Virginia was working as an ER nurse. I worked 12 hour shifts and finding a bra to wear had been kind of challenging just to wear one for 12 hours, trying to find one that was comfy or one that, you know, my shoulder straps didn't fall off. So she made a bra. It wasn't very good, but I kind of thought to myself, I know how to make it better. And she did. Using different materials, Virginia kept her design super simple. No hook and eye. Um, we put the rings and sliders in the front. It's a little more supportive than a bralette, but not as supportive as a sports bra. Virginia says the idea of making a craft and selling it one day had always been in the back of her mind. I think the part that's been most interesting for me is my love for starting a small business. And when it's time to get to work, come on upstairs and I'll show you the sewing room where Swoop got started. All the magic happens. She doesn't have to go far. Here's another rack of bras. So some different patterns on here, like this one, the peonies, that's kind of been a big seller for us. So and then this is the sewing room. I love it. I love it. With plans to expand to a bigger space, right now this is where her bras are born. It takes about an hour to make one from start to finish. All of our patterns are kind of inspired by their love for outdoors. We also use some of local um, artist fabrics where their prints have been put on fabric, so we use some of those as well. Yeah. This is kind of for Christmas. Yeah, we just did a whole... Happy New Year. I know, right? <laughs> ching, ching, bling, bling, bling. The first year, her product was mainly sold online, but in year two, business has already doubled. So we just started underwear this year, so um, we got a lot of requests for matching underwear, so we have added a high-waisted and a low-waisted bikini cut. From side hustle to small business, Virginia's advice to others wanting to take the leap Trust your gut. Taking this on, it's definitely taken up a lot of my time, but uh, I kind of live by that saying, do something that scares you every day. This one was just kind of hard to da da. <laughs> and that's what I did, and I would say that to others. You don't know if it's going to succeed unless you try. So the best way to get a bra is to visit her website, which we will have linked in this story. They come in sizes extra small to extra large. There's also a size chart to help you find your match. And they do ship out of state and later this month. And she'll be at the Vintage Market in Palmer at the Alaska State Fairgrounds. For Telling Alaska Story, I'm Ariane Aramburo.